Hi everybody, it's Louie from Glass Boss again. I got a little project here that uh, I got a, a free car from uh, from a client and uh, basically they uh, just abandoned it at the dealership and then they told me that there were some, uh, some fees that need to be paid for storage so I just went and paid the fees and and uh, and then found out later that I didn't have to so the insurance company just basically took care of the storage fees so I got a free car basically all I need to do now is is just fix a few things on it I got a, a I bought a fender that had some damage for 20 bucks from the wreckers and and I put put an hour and a half into it and uh, a front cover I got for $75 and it was a, a brand new cover that somebody never painted and put on the car and the, the little ears that hold on both sides of the fenders uh, were broke off so I cut the fen the, the ears off the original bumper and uh, gave it to my uh, uh, lady friend and she's a plastic welder and she's going to cut trim them up and weld them onto the to the new bumper the old ears onto the new bumper so that's kind of handy and uh Basically a couple little dents. Uh, I need to put some rims and tires on it and uh, uh, clean the interior, uh, put a new battery under the hood and uh, basically that's it. It's got, a, got about 220,000 kilometers on it and these Toyota Matrixes are, uh, they're, they're a pretty good car. So uh, anyway, stick around and watch what happens when I, when I fix this car and, and get it so that I can... Uh, sell it to a client. Got a free 2007 Toyota Matrix and uh, it's got 200k on it. It was uh, it was in an accident um, but not a major accident. It's got a couple little issues. It's got a little dent right here on the top of that hatch there so I'm going to pull the back pa panel off and bump that out as best they can and then I'm just going to just going to roll the tape and and paint just above this area right here roll the tape there and I'll water sand it and polish it in so that won't be much below that area and right there and then there's a gas door that's the wrong color so I have to base that and clear it and then here's the old fender there's a little little crack in the door right there so I think I'm gonna fix this area right here in the door and then just water sand the whole door and clear it and there's the bent fender that's the old garbage and the headlight smashed the upper the upper apron here's got a little crunch in here but I'll pull this out you know by a slide hammer I think it's not real real hard to straighten that upper tie bar of that rad support it's got a little bit of surface thrust on the rads part too. I'll buzz over it with the uh, with a good stiff wire brush on a drill and clean that up and base that. And the bumper's basically toast. I got a, a really nice bumper at the Wreckers, but it was brand new, never painted. But the uh, the ears that hold the the corner of the bumper on here, they're they're missing off it. They're broke off, so I cut the ones off of here and I gave it to my plastic welding lady to uh, weld those little ears on my new bumper and then I got a, a decent headlight for it from the wreckers and it needs to be sand water sanded with 2,000 wet paper and polished but uh, you know there's no damage to the hood and uh, basically uh, you know it's a nice car it's got uh, 200k on it and uh, the interior is not too bad in it. You know, it's not all beat to heck. The steering wheel hasn't got notches in it. The interior needs to be, you know, slightly clean, but looks like somebody took care of it. And there's the air pig. That, that's what I used to put some air in the tire because the tires are kind of shot on it. The rims are really rusty. So I, I, uh, I found some rims and tires for it. But yeah, it needs to be cleaned a little bit. But everything seems to work well and it's got lots of room there's no rust around the door or anything and that all flips down and you can you can use this for putting a dryer in here if you want these things are really handy people like these things because they can move their crap around in them 
And there's the uh, there's the rims that I bought. And I sandblasted them and base cleared them already. And that's what it looks like when they're on. And this is what the original rims look like. They're kind of toasty. So, and so are the tires. I mean, like, I guess you could run them for the summer, but I might throw them in on, on if, I, if I sell it to somebody. And there's the other corner of the bumper cut off, so she could weld that onto my new bumper. And that headlight needs a little polishing, but it's not bad. No cracks in the windshield. It runs really good. Needs a battery. I'm going to do the brakes to it. But other than that, it's not a bad little car for free. So here's the fender for the Toyota Matrix. It, uh, it had a big dent right there. And a big dent right there, like somebody ran into it with a loader at the wreckers. So I picked and filed it all out, so now it's nice and straight now. I'm going to have to put a little skim, a two-part putty on it, but other than that, it should, uh, should come out fine. So here we go, we're going to put a little thin skim of uh, two-part putty on here. Little clanker. off and cure and I think primer will take care of the rest okay so we're good and cured now I'm gonna knock this grill off really slow with a uh, believe it or not 240 sandpaper this stuff powders off like chalk so I think that might be a uh, I'll creep up on it real slow and get it close and then I'll just bury it in high solids primer until I have enough material on it that I can re-block the 400 and then water sand it with some 600 and then it should be ready for base. And I don't mind these little foam blocks. These ones are good for water sanding. Okay. So, I think I'm going to do this plane first. That one will knock off. Yep, seems to be coming off okay. Not plugging the paper. Probably turn most of this off. Just kind of gumming the paper a wee bit. Get that resin on top. I set the fender on top of the top of the furnace to really bake it. It's actually warm. And once you get through that layer of resin on top, then it starts chopping off.
and I paid twenty dollars for this fender. Twenty bucks. So if I have to go ahead and spend two hours on it even it's worth it to me. bulges out there pretty good so I think I'm going to create an illusion and I'm just going to build a bridge right over that area and make it just gradually disappear Yeah, you just feel it. You don't pay any attention to the color of the bondo. It's like a blind man would be really good at doing body work because he gets a sense of feel and straightness. It's way better than a sighted guy. Getting close. Getting this close. A little bit of bondo right there, I think. Just gonna skim that area right up there. This here feels pretty good.
the rest of it is ready for primer. Now there's one little dent. It's right here. Let me get that. Give that a little scuff with some sandpaper. Tooth it up a bit. So you get some mechanical adhesion. And that should be good. That should be the fenders repaired. When I went to get this fender off the uh, off the car and the records, it was sitting on the ground because they don't want cars up on wheels and have them having them fall on people, so they pull all the wheels off. So so I couldn't get under there to uh, to get a, a socket on the bolt. Uh, uh, the bolt was uh, was really rusty and rounded off. So. So I had ended up having to cut this this little lip off here, and, and it's like I'm just going to weld the washer on there and just trim that a little bit and make it so the fender bolts on. I'm not going to be real fancy about it. You don't even see it anyways. It's down below, and it's a driver, so I'm just going to weld that washer right there, right where that bolt goes in. So what's going on here? We've got lots of temperature, not much wire feed. Okay, that's good. So I think I'm going to walk a little bit from the back side too. shot here as well. And then I'll just dolly that out a little bit. So there we go, we got a nice little tack on it. Nice little weld on there to hold that bottom of that fender. I'll put a little bit of paint on this too. It's a little surfaced rust. I sandblasted, but it's kind of gotten a little damp sitting outside for a spell. So I'll put some paint on so it. So we got a nice straight fender now. Feels really good. So I'm going to put some high solids primer on it and give it a coat of high solids. There's a couple tiny little pinholes right here. I'm just going to fill that with that high solids primer. Even if I have to take my finger and give it a little smear over the wet primer, just kind of make sure it gets in there. And it'll be fine. It'll solidify. The pigment will get in there and fill it right up. It's all, it's all filler. <laughs> So 25 hours later and uh, I'm going to block this primer out now. It's on there nice and thick. 
and I'm going to use 400 with that foam block. And there's the fender, it's all primed and sanded out. And basically it's it's ready for the uh, it's ready for some base. I'm just gonna go over it with a, with a with a scotch bright pad around the corners and stuff and give it a little scuffing. And then I'll base that fender. When I base this bumper I'll just mix a whole cup full of base and base it all in one shot and then clear it. So I got some uh, 400 here, 400 dry, and I just dry sanded the whole bumper. This is the bumper that I got back from the uh, plastic welder lady, and she uh, she uh, basically welded the ears on it for me. There's a few marks in it I have to fill with some repair material. But other than that, it's a pretty mint bumper. So I'm going to put some high salt primer on it. Until all these little imperfections and scratches on the water sanded out. Okay, so we get a cleaner rag, some wax grease remover, and give it a wipe. The best place to get good quality used rags is uh, I go to Value Village and I look for the uh, all the all the the terry cloth and washcloths and towel bat, hand towels. They throw them in a big bag and they sell them for like two dollars and ninety nine cents. And I like rags that have lots of body to them because they hold a lot of particulate when you're washing something down then your solvent doesn't just flow through it well, there's a grill in here that's a mask off it stays black and I don't want to spray it in again because it's kind of redundant when it's already black. So I'm going to put some primer on it.
go. There, that's the grill right there that I had to mask off. See, there's a couple little, little boo boo there, and a boo boo there, and a little boo there. No little mark right there. No little scuff right there. And then there's the hole right there. Little, little bit of a notch right in there. And then that hole right there. So. Yeah, needs a little bit of sanding in the primer. Once you put the primer on, you sand it. it kind of holds the holds the furries that stick out from sanding it, kind of in cement, and then you just break the legs off, and then it's flush. So I just got a couple little holes here to block off. Fixed all the little boo boos that were in it. There was a couple little. Little spots here and there, you know, little spot up there and you know, around there, over there. So I'm just gonna get it smoothed out with 600. I'm gonna block this off here on both sides, these holes. I got them filled now. I'm just gonna block this out and uh, put a little bit of uh, primer on there. Quick dry primer, and then I'm gonna base this with some scrap base that I have. That's the wrong color. Because base coat is so expensive, it's like $75 for a quart, or a pint, sorry. Um, where's the paint? This here. That's $75. And the reason why is it's got, it's got pearl in it. But uh, I have some other stuff here that is, uh, that is uh, leftovers from another job. And it's kind of that color of that that fender over there so I'm going to use this as my my value shade I'm going to spray that on first 
and then uh, and then I'll put the right color over top because I have uh, I have a gas door to paint uh, front bumper uh, a fender and a driver's door and a back hatch the top of the back hatch so I need to make sure I'm really conservative about my uh, my, my base coat before uh, before I run out and have to get more and I really don't want to do that so I'm going to be very conservative and making sure that I don't waste it so here we go keep sanding here so there we go we got a ground coat of uh, off leftover base coat that I had in a can and get it get one coat or a couple coats on the fender and and it doesn't look too bad there's a little bit of weirdness going on right there I don't know if the base is just biting in I think I'm gonna have to let this dry up and water sand this fender a little bit and then I'll go over it again with some dry coats I don't know why it's doing that it shouldn't we got high salt primer on there but everything else seems to be working out fine this is the bumper that had the ears welded onto it and fixed all the gouges in it and stuff and looks like it's going to be a nice bumper after it's all said and done so i'm happy so far so we'll just leave the heat on leave the fan on let this dry right up and then i'll just go over it and just knock off anything that i don't like or water sand or whatever i need to do to just kind of like fix the little things that I don't like now that I got a coat of base on it it kind of shows everything so there's a few little tiny spots there's one little spot right here it's got a little tiny tiny scratch in it right there and there's another tiny little tiny little spot right there and then of course this fender and I noticed that there's a little dent right there but the mud flap covers it so I'm not too concerned about it there was one right there but I never noticed that one so I don't know maybe I could do is before I put any paint and clear and everything else on it I might just hold a flat block on that and give it a bump from behind and then water sand it the paint and the material that's built up on there so that'll fix that dent by just hammering it out but other than that I'm happy carry on so there we go we got a coat of base on it the right color and two coats of clear on the bumper and it looks good and then here's the $20 dented fender And surprisingly you know it's pretty clean it's not much dirt in it at all a little bit of water sanding I think there's there's one chunk right right there and another one right there you can kind of see it and surprisingly I have one fish eye so I'm just gonna take some clear tomorrow I'm going to dab some clear right on that fish eye and fill it in and then when I water sand this with 2000 paper and polish it that will just get filled right in nice so yeah I'm happy that's the bumper now I just have the door and the back hatch and the gas door to do